two times. Whew. So uh, our highest note being with evangelicals proclaim that is a B note, and that's perfect. And let's scan the rest of the song. Anything else at the B note? Them are their old angels and glory to the new working. So, an interesting thing about Hark the Herald Angels Sing, that highest note in the melody of the hymn, Hark the Herald Angels Sing, by Mendelssohn, Felix Mendelssohn Bartholdi, it, we hold that note out for quite a bit. Um, we just went through the song, Come, All Ye Faithful, Joyful and Triumphant. And that is one high note. We only sing it once. And then the whole rest of the song is below the highest note of the melody. And this we have, we're hitting the high note. Hark the herald angels sing. So if that note's too high, everybody's voice is going to get tired. As a worship leader, mine included. Though I'll get tired less quickly than others who don't sing as often. So, so we want to make sure that's at the middle C or below, definitely. So our next step, let's analyze the lowest spot of the song. Again, we want the lowest spot of the song to be at or below the A note. Now, we're starting, we're starting on the A note. Um, so this is your lower limit for females, and females, a lot of females physically cannot sing lower than an, than an A note, the A octave register three, which is a couple notes below middle C, because they, they have small vocal cords, and they just physically can't make the noise. They'll, they'll start going, and making inaudible uh, pitches. So we want to avoid that. Again, we're good shepherds, we're good leaders, we're good worship leaders, and we lead people where they can go, not to places where they cannot follow us. So as a worship leader, I'm going to say, this is my lower limit. But fortunately, it stops there. Most songs are about an octave and a half max. Um, and the writers are very clever to, to make their... Uh, these songs are popular because they're singable. And that a good songwriter will make it easy for people to sing along with them. So let's play this again. Hark the herald angels sing Glory to the newborn king Looks good. Peace on earth and mercy mild God and sinners reconciled Joyful all ye nations rise Join the triumph of the sky, okay? With angelicals proclaim Christ is born and bed. Okay, the program messed up, so that's annoying. So let's just look at it. Where are the lowest notes? Again, we're looking for the low notes. It's an A right there. Oh, I'm still on two times in. Okay, well, that's actually fine. We got a low note right there. Uh, we got another low note. Peace on earth. With mercy, mild God and sinners reconciled. Yet another low note. Joyful all ye nations rise. Join the triumph of the skies. Now it stays pretty high above that low note from here on out. With angelicals proclaim Christ is born. In on the D. In is on the D. In Bethlehem, hark the herald angels sing glory to the newborn king. Ending on D, which is the actual key of the song right now. So our lowest note, we really only hit a couple of times. We start out with it. Uh, it's very convenient when a songwriter starts out with their lowest note or with their highest note, which typically they don't do because you're trying to make a climax within the story of the song. Um, and so this song looks good. D major seems like the best key for Hark the Herald Angels Sing 
Now again, this is just a sheet music preview and standard musical notation. What we have to do next is we take this theory that D major is going to be the best key and we print out the chord sheet or if you're using tablets, you, you email yourself and email the worship team. Well, we don't email the worship team yet. We email ourselves. We put the song on the tablet, so we the sheet music on the tablet, so we can play it out. And that's it. Pretty easy. Pretty easy with sheet music. I thank God for the song select service.